What's up, YouTube? Far too many people think they're social media experts because they've had a Facebook since middle school. But being a user has nothing to do with advertising on the platform. So let's clear it up and get to the basics of social media marketing, shall we? So I want to start off by saying that much of my social knowledge comes from the one, the only, Gary Vaynerchuk. So consider this pass along mixed with a little bit of experience. First and foremost, social media is the most underpriced form of advertising to reach your target. I know many clients don't want to take it seriously. They'd rather have commercials, billboard, and print, but it's our job to open up their eyes to the opportunities that social media can bring for their awareness and for their sales. It's also where the attention is. People are scrolling their Twitter feeds during commercials and even checking their Instagram while they're driving. I don't condone that behavior, but it happens. People are just glued to their phones. Your phone is basically within arm reach of you at probably 95% of the time. But not only are people consuming content like crazy on social media, but you can so specifically target who you wanna to talk to so that you can customize your creative accordingly. For example, Facebook allows you to target a new dad who's looking for a car within a 10 mile radius of your dealership. Sounds like a pretty good deal for a salesman. Or just to get random, you could target a new graduate who is interested in basketball and skateboarding for your new skateboard basketball league. Sounds pretty fun. Okay, so thus far through the video, we know that social media is a good bang for your buck and you can target exactly who you wanna to talk to. But now we've gotta talk about the creative, the art, the ads. The number one rule in social media is to make sure the content matches the context. Let me explain. People go to Facebook, go to Twitter, go to Instagram, go to Snapchat for very different experiences. So you can't just copy and paste the same ad across all the platforms. It's just not effective. If you do, your ad's gonna do more harm than good, interrupting someone's experience. Have some empathy for who you're trying to talk to. On Facebook, this is more important than ever. If people don't interact with your content, Facebook's algorithm called Edge Rank will lessen your brand's future visibility moving forward. Successful Facebook ads have striking visuals. Facebook actually won't allow you to make an ad that is more than 20% text. And your Facebook ad will typically get better engagement if they're sent to a landing page first to educate on your product before you make the sale. On a regular post in your brand's newsfeed, you have even more options. People come to Facebook for a large gamut of things. So long form text posts and really any content that has some kind of storytelling aspect to it is relatively successful on Facebook. Now on Twitter, it is a different story. While you are storytelling on Facebook, you are listening on Twitter. It's the only place where a brand can drop in on a conversation without looking like a stalker. With hashtags, brands can seek out conversations about their industry and interact directly with their customers. It's quite simply the game of searching out hashtags and coming up with a clever or insightful response. And please make sure that your responses are to the point and authentic in voice. And one more thing. Don't use too many hashtags. One is great, two is good, three, you're pushing it. Okay, on to Instagram who has been full steam ahead. To advertise on it, you wanna make sure that your content is high quality, beautiful imagery. People are here to be visually stimulated. Now here, you can go overboard with hashtags and you won't be looked down upon. They matter. This is how your post gets discovered. And if you don't wanna clutter up your post description, you can actually comment on your own post with all the hashtags and it'll have the same effect. Also make sure that not every single post is telling a consumer to do something. Purchase our product, buy our product, have you heard about our product? It's not an effective social strategy. Try to provide value with content that seamlessly fits into the platform and hopefully connects consumers with your product at a more emotional level. And then every once in a while, throw in a post that asks for action. Gary V calls it jab, 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 right hook, which basically means value, 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 ask. Now, social media is something you have to play with. You track, you analyze, you optimize, you track, you analyze, you optimize over and over again. See what messages, what visuals, what posts get you the most impressions, the most clicks, the most engagement. Social media has probably the most accurate analytics that you'll ever receive. So take advantage of it. And just to wrap it up, I mean, social media is changing and changing all the time with new platforms emerging. As long as you remember to create content that is native to the platform, you should be just fine. Thanks for watching this relatively quick crash course into social media with so many of us stuck in traditional advertising, including myself. 
having heavy knowledge in the social space can only differentiate yourself and help you out moving forward into this digital landscape. Go be social, hashtag later.